tamed a silky cane. Kingdom. And why would the Marquis of Montrose lend the MacGregor a thousand pounds? For profit. What else? It's an investment as much as a loan. Oh, so it's business partners you are now. You and the Marquis. You know, I love the bones of you, Robert MacGregor. But you take too much to heart that cannot be helped. It must be helped. All right. Have it. <laughs> take the basket. So fine. Is that why you sent them away? To tell me how fine I am. Or did you want to make a silk purse? Did you think? Oh, <laughs> come here. What did they say? <laughs> Stones make men hard. And women fertile. You know how fine you are to me, Robert McGregor. Oh. Oh. That Alistair Roy is a fierce stamper. The last time I saw you in such a lather, you were flat on your back. Not <laughs> a front me before these folk. The Rob. <laughs> You know why Calvinists are against shagging standing up? No call, I do not. The fear that might lead to dancing. <laughs> Might have yielded to the sight of all that money put into his hand. And the money is gone, and Montrose will not care if you believe one thing or the other. That's another matter. No, that is the only matter now. For all our sakes, Robert, you must take off your high hat and make what terms you can. Defend him against Montrose. To suit Montrose? No, to suit me and Duncan and Ronald. To stay home with your wife and children instead of taking to the hills like... Take the boys and go to Marex. She'll make a place. And let Montrose's troopers foul my house. No harm will come to you. Montrose's quarrel is with me. And you revel in it. The great man against all. Or will you just find yourself a sheep to comfort you? No trouble between them and you. You think he'd be lying in his bed waiting for you? You're more of a fool than you look. Burn them. Kill the stock. Thank you. 
of yourself as the scabbard. I will think of you dead until my husband makes you so. And then I will think on you no more. Are you hot? Did they wound you? They will not know. They will not know. Mary Rob must know. He will Rob not. Must... He will not know. He will not. They will not tell me. And you will not tell. Do you hear me, Alistair McGregor? Oh, Mary Rob. It is what they want. You swear it to me. Oh. You can. If I can bear it to be done. You can bear to be silent! Now you swear it! Swear it! Swear it! I swear it! I swear! And they will hold you to it. Mark me! And in truth, she was the one most affronted. Rob is right. It cannot be helped, must be endured. It'll look more like it's health when the sun shines. When they have her bed in it, and us in her bed, it'll seem home enough. All right. Play can wait. We have. They would have taken me to the toll booth. No. I think you would be dead. Tell me about this money. Did you hear a sum spoken? The only pity that it would be in Scots and not English pounds. How did he mean to earn this thousand pound? I know not. My husband will appreciate that you came with this world. Will you take some supper and rest, Betty? You look ill, you. Lass, lass, bear up now. Your bairn will have you, and you will have it. <laughs> that will not have much. And Mr. McGregor, I love him. Even after all. Oh, is that not a worse sin than any other? <laughs> no, Betty. Love is never a sin, only the lack of it. Do with her. She's carrying the Englishman's child. They'll call her a whore come for revenge. Yeah, they can see. Betty Sturrock hanged herself in our shed. She made me bring her. I, I told... made him bring me, for I have dealings with this clan. It's no matter for him. This is between us. As I am your wife, Robert, I will have my way in this, I will. But he's dead. She killed herself this night. And her unborn with her. Mistress McGregor. Spare me your hypocrisy, Calan. You are as much her murderer as she. You and that Englishman. Big Roster. You stood and gloated. You did all with your eyes. Yeah. When it is signed, you may go where you will. Where you can. You will sign her or else. Or else. Of you stood 
and loam and water. Hmm? I've wondered many a time since that morning, did you wash Archie out of you, or is he still in there, growing into his father? <laughs> yes. I persuade your man that Cunningham alone killed his man and kept the money entirely. But you know the saying, Mary? You have my word on it. Robert, there are things you must know. The things I have to tell you. Well? Oh, Robert, listen to me now. Can you sink a man? Cut the wind out of him. Put a rock on his belt. They're safe before he comes. He refused to condemn you by false witness when the Marquis asked him to say you were a Jacobite in remission of this debt. But Robert refused. Indeed, your grace, I think he favors you no more than any other great man. His wolves at Lamy. It was not done for your grace but for his own honor, which he holds dearer than myself or his sons, his clan or kin, and for which I have oft chided him. But it is him in his way, and were he other, he would not be Robert Roy MacGregor. He would not come here before you, nor would he favor me to do so in his stead. But I have no choice unless I give him up entire to his enemies. And though I love his honor, it is but a moon cast shadow to the love I bear him. By the grace of God, I have his child inside me, and I would have a father for it. Robert? Oh, my Robert. What have they done with you? Oh, Robert, I should have, but I could not. I should have packed my pride, given Montrose's way. No, Robert. And all this that has come us, all this you have endured. No. Craig Roston would still be ours, Alistair. Call would be a lie. And wrong would have been done you. And what if the wrong done you? Wrong, Pat. And he has himself. And you would not, not if you had done a lesser man. Honor is the gift a man gives himself. You told our boys that. Would you have stolen from yourself that what makes you Robert McGregor? I cannot. Oh, what if you do not return to us? 